Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Alonzo and I am going to be reading aloud the end of unit assessment for unit three. Um, after I read each question, I want you to pause the video and then do the work in your notebook. All right, question number one. There are 15 pieces of fruit in a bowl and six of them are apples. What percentage of the pieces of fruit in the bowl are apples. Okay, we have six hundredths percent, four tenths percent, six percent, or 40 percent. Go ahead and pause and do the work. Question number two, select all of the trips that would take two hours. So you're gonna, you might have more than one answer choice here. You're gonna select all that apply. So which one of these would take two hours? Drive 60 miles per hour between Buffalo and Seneca Falls, which are 120 miles apart. Walk three miles per hour to school, which is one, 0.5 miles away. Take the train going 80 miles per hour from Albany, New York. Oh, I'm sorry, from Albany to New York City, which is 160 miles apart. Okay, I'm going to read those one more time. And I suggest you draw a number line or a little timeline in your notebook where you kind of draw out these scenarios. So the first one is drive 60 miles an hour between Buffalo and Seneca Falls. Those cities are 120 miles apart. Walk three miles per hour to school and school is one and a half miles away. Take a train going 80 miles an hour from Albany to New York City, which are 160 miles apart. Pause and do the work in your notebook. Okay, question number three. Lynn's family has completed 70% of a trip. They have traveled 35 miles. How far is the trip? Okay, I suggest you draw a number line. And they're telling us that 70% of the trip is 35 miles. We wanna figure out how far the whole trip is. So is it 24 and a half miles, 50 miles, 59 and a half miles, or 200 miles? Pause and do the work. Question number four. Lynn runs five laps around a track in six minutes. How many minutes per lap is that? Pause and complete the first part of the question. Question number two, how many laps per minute is that? So you're gonna use the same numbers up here, five laps in six minutes. And now we wanna know how many laps per minute. Pause and do the work for number two. Question three, or part three, if Lynn runs 21 laps at this same rate, how long does it take her? So she runs five laps in six minutes and then she's gonna run 21 laps. We wanna know how many minutes that's gonna take her to run 21 laps. Pause and do the work. Question number five. A ship captain is mapping a trip and wants to know the distance the ship will travel over, a cer over certain time intervals. On our table, we have time in this column and we have distance in this column. The distance is in miles and the time is in hours. So in a half an hour, they travel 12 and a half miles. In one hour, they travel 25 miles. And in one and a half hours, they travel 37.5 miles. 
Assuming that the ship travels at a constant speed, what is the speed? Please just type in the number as an answer. So what is the speed they are traveling at? Pause and do the work. Question number six, which weighs more? A watermelon that weighs 7.5 kilograms or a baby that weighs 12 pounds? Explain your reasoning. Note that one pound is about 45 hundredths, hundredths kilograms. Okay, so this is important information right here that one pound is about 0.45 kilograms. So you're gonna use that. I suggest you draw a double number line and figure out how much the baby weighs in kilograms. Okay, or how much the watermelon weighs in pounds, All right? Because you've got to compare them. Which one weighs more? Pause and do the work. Elena and Jada are 12 miles apart on a path when they start moving toward each other. Elena runs at a constant speed of five miles per hour and Jada walks at a constant speed of three miles per hour. How long does it take until Elena and Jada meet? So again, you're gonna to wanna to use your number line strategy here, putting Jada at one end and Elena on the other, moving towards each other. Go ahead and do the work and look over your answers before you submit your test. Make sure they make sense for the scenario.